Now I am from Singapore. I Singapore Korean. But I was born in Malaysia. Malaysia for I call away. Right, I have three grown children. Uh, two of them are married. The two of them are daughters. They are all in Australia. All right, and uh, from the first daughter, I have got three grandchildren. Right, and my youngest is a boy. He is already 32 this year. Right, and he lives with me and he works in Singapore. Right, and now I have become a Singapore citizen. Because I've lived so long in Singapore, much longer than I live in Malaysia, so I decided to become a Singaporean. Uh, also, because I married a Singaporean, my wife Singaporean, and my children were all born in Singapore. You know, I'm really, really thankful to God that God has given me a chance to come to Meg I mean, to come to Nagaland, to this place in Sam Juram. <coughs> I I have heard of Nagaland a long time already. But never imagined God would be so good to me to allow me to actually be here to visit this beautiful place. I thank God for that. <coughs> Every time I visit a church, I tell myself I'm visiting my family. Every time I visit a church, I tell myself I am visiting my family. Because you are because you are my family. You are my family. We all, we all have the same Heavenly Father. We are all brothers and sisters. And one day we'll be together in the Heavenly Home. Tonight, I will want to continue with the series, One Hour with the Omnipotent God. This hour belongs to God. So let us prepare our heart and mind to listen to His Word. You know, there are many wonderful things in this world. And one of them is this island that you can see. You can see this island? It's it is uh, in the island of near, sea, uh, near Maldives. It's a beautiful heart-shaped island near Maldives. I don't know, you know where Maldives is? Yeah. This is one of the, one of the most unique islands ever. Indeed, there are many wonderful things in this world. But tonight, I'm going to talk about the most wonderful person of all, Jesus Christ. I'm going to talk about His wonderful love. His wonderful grace for us. Just how much God loves us. You know, in Japan, there's a very special train station. Today, that train station is no longer used. Right. But when it was still being used, it is considered a very special train station, and this is the one. Right. It is the place called Shirataki. 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 All right. Okay, it's a very interesting place in this island, okay, where you can see now this is uh, the northern part of the island called Hokkaido. You can see this part uh, up on the north of Japan. And that's, right, that is the most northern part of Japan. Most northern part. Eh? Now, this Shirataki station. It's in a very remote area. Very few people stay there. Very few. 
There are very few people there. And uh, it is called A44. The name of the station, A44. But why is this station so famous? Now let me tell you the story of A44. Or the Shirataki station. You see, this station has the reputation of the only station where the train comes to pick up one passenger and pick up the entire train station is for one passenger only. Uh, can you imagine this whole station is only for one person? And this is the girl that you can see. To so bring her to school and later to bring her back. You see, what has happened is that this village, Shirataki, a lot of people have left because, you know, to find work, you know, so it's getting lesser and lesser people. And from Shirataki, the nearest high school, the only way is to go by train. The only way to go to the nearest high school, which is a few miles away, is by train. high school school now, if you are talking about business, it does not make sense to operate a train station, to operate a train service just for one passenger. It has got no business sense. The, the Japanese railway station loses a lot of money. Because this girl, she is paying the same fare. She's not paying a lot of fare, paying the same fare. Okay. I hope the video is working. Look at this video. Is it working? Okay, good. Okay, turn on a bit louder. Now, this is the girl. Her name is Kana Harada. Kana Harada. Kana Harada. Harada. Kana Harada. She lived in a village where there were only 36 people in that village. But because she has to go to school, she has to go to high school. Japan Railway was so kind for one person that operate the service for her so that she can finish her high school. Railway station And when Karada Harada finished high school, then the railway station was closed. Because there were there were too few people in that village, too few people. So just imagine a whole train station. A whole train for one passenger. You see, it was from December 2012. And for three years, this train came to bring one person to school and later bring her back to school. Only for one passenger. 2012, I was in my train. There were no more high school students in that village. All of them have left the, the mountain. They have gone down to the city to live. So this station, Shirataki, now has only 36 people and mostly old people. And they, they don't use a train station. Because the only one who need to use the only one who need to, train, who need to train station is the one who have to go to school. And Kana Harada, because she was in the high school, that's the only way she can go to school is too far. And because of that, the train station was open just for her. 
ट्रेन से नहीं मैं मैथु कला स्कूल तब पत्त गुट मेन दे मैं हाई स्कूल खो लोसन रखना Train station master. This was the last day after she graduated, and she said, "Thank you, Arigato Gozaimas. Thank you so much to the train station master. This is the train station master." Oh, train station dong master. That my na puyer na. Ka kang naru na mahan bam ka sinin. Thau pat thau gulo pujay kure. Thon ku the na sabam imeng. For three years, the train would bring her back and forth. Then gom ka thau gang khat na kang naru na. So that this girl can finish her high school. My company time may not in a high school location. And I can tell you, if I were her, if I was this girl, I have been a met up with the bonk. I will forever remember the kindness of the Japan railway station. How thankful, Arikato! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I met up with the bonk. I did it. Japan Dong railway station. And, and that's why this station is so famous. This station is so famous. Remember, it's a small station. Small station. Up in the mountain. Only 33 people live in that village. And now, and now, even Kana Harada doesn't live there because she has graduated. She has gone to university in the big city, and she doesn't even stay there anymore. Kana Harada doesn't stay there anymore. Kana Harada, some of them are going to high school. Loi thay, my kailuang to ba makhe kumai to tau city to kumai. Slowly, that village will get smaller and smaller. Kana my kailuang da tiam kit tiam kit good thay. It's too far away. Kana pai na du ei. It's too cold. Kana pai na ting sing ei. Up in the mountain. Kana ting bu hu tu dai. And there's no job. No high school. High school, magay. No hospital. Hospital, magay. That's why people are all living one by one. Kung na mansay ko ay zeng zeng na kat 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 kung. Only the old people who love the place are still staying there. Kung na kan su kan dao na may kan di may kan luang ta zie lang min hundred ba may. But sooner or later that village will be no more. Kung na hian zai la de the may kan luang ta kung loi xin kan. Right, no more high school student. Ah, high school student kat si mak. Right. So that's the reason why this station is so famous. Kung na may station kan zan. It was op. I mean, it was operating in order for a young girl to complete her high school. No, to complete high school. Kung na may train ha tapat tawot mo may tinapoy na una ha high school ha loichen ka dukang roy na tapat tawot lo bitong. Every morning the train will come exactly at seven zero four a.m. It's so on time. The Japanese railway they are very on time. Seven zero four. The train will come exactly there. Seven zero four in the morning. Japan minun tong train to kagan hapay na sinjui dona lau kwan pum kwang sunai minute paday ko kata la hanggang. Now Japanese their school is very long, and after her school is over, by the time she come back, it'll be exactly at five zero eight p.m. Kuma school ha ku seng eh. Kuma school loy darap kata solo dami ha tingjen kwang pungu. And this, and this went on for four years. Four years. My, my, good na. So when my pui na, na kang rui chui ba mu kuti kum padai. Right. This station was opened in 1955, long time ago. 1955, ko my station na halo kontai. Right. When there were still a lot of people at that time. My guy, kuta my pui na lung mu na ba. But by 2016, there was only one passenger. Ko ma 2016 gam my guy, kuta gam khat na dai the. And that was Kana Harada. My, my ko Kana Harada. And it's so funny. On the last day of her trip. When she has finished it, finished high school. Ah, kam liang mai ting hei ko sunat ho. The station master and his wife actually gave flower. Say thank you for being our last passenger. Oh ma, station master ro sunat. Mai na 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 kang ta hun ti lau da hitai. Thon ku the ah last passenger slow pi jai kore na. You know, station master ro hun. It should be the other way around. Thank you for bringing me to school. But the station master and the wife brought flower and say thank you for being our last passenger. Oh ma, tena pui re na. My station master, that Tonku making, that station master, right now, my tenapu now, that I'm hunting long. You know, if you go to Japan, you discover Japanese are very polite, very polite, very courteous people, very polite people. Kung na Japan hono niu ni taritin ho Thai puni Japanese men hono pai na sekong sempo. I have been to Japan twice. Kung na ay Japan taliang. Every time they talk to you, they say yep, yep, yep. They always like that. They are very polite, very polite. Lat 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 kasu. We pum tau. Oh oh, the kung kung mum bang dong thai. Okay, very helpful, very helpful. Kung na pai na ni kalau wai. Even though they speak very little English. Kung na English titi na kanu sabang. But they are very helpful, always smiling, very helpful. 
When you see them talking on their cell phone, when you see a Japanese in the town or in the city when they are using their phone, even when using the phone, they will say, hi, 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 no? They will be doing that all the time, you know? They are so polite. Even bowing to the person, they cannot say, hi, 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 you know? That's how Japanese is. <laughs> I really respect the Japanese. I really respect. They are good people. They are good people. Very, I mean, when you don't know them, they are a bit afraid of you, you know? They are a bit shy. The Japanese are a bit shy. Partly because they cannot speak English well. But when you know them, they are so nice, they are so friendly. And very, very, very courteous, very, very courteous, very polite. So today, the whole world remember A44, the Shirataki station. Everybody remember this station. Because this station show how important even one person is. This station shows us even one person, she or he is important. Even one person is important. In in today's world, we only care about the majority. We don't care about the minority. Right? We, when it's, a lot of people, we will follow. But the, little, the small group, we don't bother. But Japan showed the whole world how important even one person. Even it cost so much money to operate the station. No, it has got no business sense. You don't earn money, you lose money. But as far as Japan, Railway is concerned, this girl, she is a Japanese citizen, she is important, she has to finish high school. We will offer the station, we will pay the money to support her. Now, why am I telling you this story? In the words of the famous Christian. Uh, church father, his name is St. Augustine. Church leader. He said, God loves each of us as if there's only one person. God loves all of us as if you are just one person. Uh, How do you explain? <laughs> yes. God loves all of us, yeah? But in his mind, it is like you are just one person. Okay. His love is a personal love, personal love. He knows know every single one of you. Yes, he loves all of us, but he also loves but he also loves every single person individually, personally. In God's mind, it is as if you are only one person, that the whole world is only we one person. That you're the only person. That's how God loves you, as if you're the only person on earth. And for one person, God will send His only one Son to die for us. Please turn to your Bible, First John chapter four, nine and ten. Look at what the First John four, nine and ten. First John chapter four, verse nine and ten. Bible says, First John chapter four, nine and ten. First John chapter four, verse nine and ten. This is how God show His love. Among us, he sent his one 
and only Son into the world that we might be saved, that we might live through Him. He has only one Son. And yet He loves you as if you are also one. And the, and the Bible says this is love. This is love. Not that we love him, but God loves us. That he sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sin. Such is the love of God. That even if there was just one sinner, God would still send his son to die for one sinner. Even if there was just one lost soul, God would still send His Son for to win back the one lost soul. How do we know? Where is the Bible proof? Remember the story in Matthew 18, 12 to 14? Matthew 18. Verse 12 to 14, where it talks about a shepherd who have 100 sheep. One sheep, only one sheep was missing. You, you know, for the one sheep that was lost, he left the 99. He left 99 to go and search and search and find that one lost sheep. For, nine, for one sheep, he left the 99 behind. And I'm sure his friends, his relatives, his neighbors say, Hey, only one sheep, only one, only one. Don't go and waste your time, you know. You take care, protect your 99. Don't waste your time on the one sheep. That shepherd represents the love of God. For one lost sheep, the Lord would come to save the one lost sheep. Because the lost sheep, the lost sheep cannot find his home, cannot, cannot find his way home. And the, shepherd, and the shepherd cannot sleep. He keeps thinking about the sheep. Meh, meh. He cannot sleep. He keeps thinking about the lost sheep. And God is like this. He loves us. He cannot sleep. He sent his son to save you and I. He wants, he wants all the lost sheep to be found. I want you to read what Ellen White said, Ellen G. White wrote. In the book, Christ's Object Lesson. And he said, by creation and by redemption, they are his and they are of value in his sight. In God's, in God's eyes, all of us are important. And, and look at the second part of the sentence. Look at the second part. As the shepherd loves his sheep and cannot rest, you see, he cannot sleep. He cannot rest even if one is missing so an infinitely higher degree does God's love right does God love everyone of the outcast soul you know? look at what look at what sister white said just like the shepherd cannot sleep, he cannot rest. Right, because one sheep is missing. So is the father, the heavenly father. And we need to have the same love for those who have stopped coming to church. Brothers and sisters, today, if you know someone, who have stopped coming to church, who have gone astray, pray for them. Love them back, bring them back. 
Asana puna gue le, thau kup mai rakai ku gang makhe mai thai ko ni te. Kaniu kang kalhum long ko, kum nak kaniu gue gang dah ketuk kang. Every lost sheep is precious in the eyes of God. Raguang tom hing jau ko mahan nata ko mai lauziu gue mahan nata ko mai bum heng gue tar raguang hing jau ko thuk e kung e. And then Sister White said, "Koma iju hai du chai." In the parable, the shepherd goes out to search for the one sheep. And that is the least number. You know, number one is the lowest number. You understand? Number one is the lowest number that can be counted, right? Right. And if there have been, if there have been but one lost soul, if there's only one lost soul, Christ would have died for that one lost soul. You see, this is exactly what I was telling you. For one person, God would have sent His Son Jesus Christ. Come on, let your heart rejoice, Sana. Love you, love you, Kai Pao. That love you, can't name him. Come on. ไม่ตะกุมกระหักทางนาผู้ระวังหรือที่เก่าทุบไม่คังสุนันนี้มันใช่จริงๆปังกูกังคัดน้ำหานะระวังสินีไม่คังตุรินักกนาจิชูคริสต์ตาตาดูไกลปุ่นเอ๋ just like Japan railway station they kept the station they kept the train running four years just for one passenger our heavenly Father is exactly like the train master kept the train station just to help one person Japan เลยนะ station โอ้ดูก็ไม่ได้กี่ตระหนักปุ่ยขนาด High school lawyer, mak bapa macam ni. Macam itu kalau lawyer kita tuh kan Jepun macam tu, government gua ni na, train tak kekang na, na, dua long na lawyer macam sana, dua long kum na, pura gua lawyer sana ni, nang ani gua yang sana, bumi heng, kat mahan bapa macam tu, macam bumi heng mat, kat mahan bapa macam tu, la tau nuk kong na, kena tak duka. Every single soul matters to God. Every single soul is important to God. Kau mah bumi heng, kat 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 apa? And he cannot rest. He cannot rest until that soul comes back. Koma ha na ba may bumheng tak kadeng hugang handa magsan kamay ha juju na tekay ngam magay. Remember the story of the father with two sons. Remember the prodigal son. Koma kuni ka kuni sa ay gang kat puri ka na gay mina gan hay na may pri. Alright, one stay home, one left for the city. Gang kat to ka puri ka ba may gang kat to kay day to ta katay. Every day, I can tell you, the father was looking for the son. Every day, he was getting old. His eyesight couldn't see very well. But he couldn't sleep. He was thinking of their one son. And he has heard report. He has heard report that this son has lost all his money. That this son now is very poor. This son is now feeding pigs. And that father prayed that the son will come home. And he waits every day. And one day, far, far away. You know, his eyes was getting old. His eyes. He said, "My son." He said, "My son." And then when he saw far away, even though he could not see but the the silhouette, just a shape, he knew that this is son. Koma, kazao kahak suna hau ma puchi ni ka kaseng ka dai mai pulu puyeng kuren. Oh, soi nam ke mai ta tu ana dei thei. You see, his eyes cannot see, but the heart can see. The heart can see. Kam hei ruchu na tu hau ma sik kolong hei. And the Bible say he ran to the sun. And he hugged the son. And the son wanted to say, Father, I've sinned against heaven. I've sinned against you. I'm no longer worthy to be your son. And the son wanted to say, Treat me like one of your servants. But the father squeezed him so tight and put his hand in his mouth. Don't say anymore. Don't say anymore. Don't say anymore. Son, you are home. You are still my son. Nothing has changed. You are still my son. Nothing has changed. And that's why he called for the rope, for the ring, for the shoes. Malik dingin, mai thai kan kau ring nai nampak mai, hokai mai pay dalam patau. 
so that the sun may look like the sun again. And to celebrate the great joy, he asked for the fettered calf to be killed. That fettered calf is for special, special occasion for a VIP. And as far as Special. You see, for one lost soul, God would have done the same thing. When Adam and Eve sinned, in the Garden of Eden, God made a promise that one day He will send the Savior. And to remind them that the Savior is coming, they were asked to sacrifice a lamb, which represent the lamb that will come one day that will take away the sins of the world. So, and, and every time they sacrifice the lamb, they were always reminded one day the Messiah, the Savior of the world, the Lamb of God will come to take away the sins of the world. Remember at that time the Garden of Eden there were only two persons. Adam and if only two persons. And even for two persons, God made the promise, I will send my son one day to be the savior of mankind for two persons. For just two persons, the lamb was sacrificed. Because one day the true sacrifice will come. God gave the promise. One day my son, his, his feet will be hurt by Satan, but my son will destroy the head of the, the, of the devil. Look at this, look at this picture, look at this picture. You see the nail on the feet of Jesus. The, the, prof, the prophecy was fulfilled. Satan will hurt the feet of the son. But, but look carefully in this picture. The same nail has hit the serpent's head. The serpent died because of that. You see the serpent's head is also nailed. That day when Jesus died on the cross, Satan is destroyed forever. Remember the promise in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Genesis 3 verse 15. He, that's talking about the devil, the devil, I'm sorry, God, Jesus, will bruise your head, will, will destroy your head, Satan, but you shall bruise his heel, you will hurt his feet. And indeed, at year 2000, 2000 years ago, the Lord Jesus came to this world. Fulfilling the promise that was made in the Garden of Eden. Eden Garden and today, let us be thankful to God. Let us be thankful to God for His incredible love. I want to tell you, I want to end today by telling you the story of a very famous story which became a movie and it was called Saving Private Ryan. Private is a soldier with no rank, okay? Saving this soldier. No rank, no rank. This famous story became a movie in 1998. All right. And this is a very powerful story. If you know the real meaning of the story, it's a powerful story, very powerful story. That's why it was, it was nominated for the Oscar Award. You know, Oscar. This, this book 
this book which became a movie talks about what happened during World War II. Kung na book, may tong book kuri na cinema kasi yam tong Second World War kato po ipat kabo. Alright. Now remember this is a story. Kung mamay ha pre day. Right. The story talks about D-Day. Now many of you do not know what D-Day is. This is the most incredible military invasion of Europe where America, Britain, Australia, India all joined together. They were called the Allied Forces. They went to Europe to fight against the German. The greatest military invention, and that was on 1944, June 6. Even India was involved, and it was called D-Day, Decision Day, to save Europe from German, the Germans. D-Day, my kabakotok, Decision Day. The boy said, I'm going to decision now, I think. My kotoko, Germany, the Colossian, Germany, the Nam Kang, the how country, Saruk sanai ru dau hagang lagi. Suri kuni, tena. This is Allah my team hikta. Di day na kau nang. That day, almost one hundred thousand soldiers from so many countries all came together on that day and landed on the beach in France. It was called Normandy, and then from there they were moved towards Germany. They landed in France. Mai nai ta suna to kandi. Country by by by. Kure man si by koi ching ching le le gang na. Friends called Normandy, Samitong Pam, Kuta Gang Tang Thai, Kum Lagi. Germany in Hai Tokun Hong Tapa Thai. This is the real picture of that day. This is this is real. This is real. My my picture tilau my hak kasang kaling. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers from America, Canada, Britain, Australia, right, including India, because India was part of the British Commonwealth. So many soldiers from all world, all that was under British and American, they all came to fight against the German, and this is the place. The Germany. Germany itu suruh kuri suruh kau nak gang mereka tu India mana kita jauh esam mereka tu India mereka tu England pang kau bantu pi jeng kau na, mai mai naik tu India mana kita jauh. Oh, the Germans were waiting. The Germans were ready. Kau mah Jerman mereka itu kau nak bantu he? The moment they arrived, the Germans started to shoot. Kau mah gang rap kau Jerman mereka kau kap tau he? On the first day itself, four thousand four hundred and fourteen soldiers were killed. On the first day itself. Kau mah Thailand mereka tim he kau tu sini. Four thousand four hundred and fourteen. Four hundred and fourteen. Fourteen soldiers were killed. Ah, Sibai. Thailand, my team, he called four thousand four hundred fourteen Sibai. It was a very dangerous mission. Dangerous. Come on, my rich Chu Kang, that right. My mission, that right. All right, ship by ship, all landed in Normandy. One ship after another. Come on, Normandy, got a he. Matang, matang, matang. Come on. And the moment they came out of the ship, they ran, you know, hoping not to get shot by the German fire. Now, in this interesting movie, now now we talk about the movie, suddenly there was something that happened. One of the military captains, his name was John Miller. And he had only 12 soldiers left because many of his soldiers had been killed. So his company of soldiers, there were only 12, including him. Ah, sorry, eight, eight, eight soldiers. Eight soldiers, eight soldiers. They received a very special command order from the military high officer. A very special order. Army officer kau, tangguh na special order kami pangtai. And Captain Miller say, yes sir. What is the? And they he and he got the order. Order pangrap we gangko. Yes sir. And what was this order? What was the special mission that this soldier must do? Kom na mai tong order ko tutu buijo mai si bai nuni tani mai ko. They were told that there is one man right now behind military line, way on the other side. You must go and save the one man, and his name. Is Ryan. He has no rank. That's why we call him Private Ryan. You must go and save and bring him back alive. That one man, you and Captain and your eight men, go and bring him back alive. Tao thoi mai gan ta sat na ba mai Captain. Thay ngam ko thay gan ta sat na ba mai tong ta koru thui order kai mu ko tu bui bo ko. Who is that man? Private James Ryan. Ah, Private James Ryan. Sami ha dosmon tong kanai pe tu ta kha na ba mai thay. Captain Miller, Captain Miller and his eight soldiers were they were surprised. Who is this person? He is not even a high officer. He has no rank. He is not a captain or or someone higher. He has got no rank. 
not important person. And, and yet we are given this dangerous mission to save his life. We are risking our life to enter German territory to save him. Everyone, including Captain Ryan, I mean Captain uh, Miller, they keep asking the question. You know, why must we go and save this one person? Who is this person? Why is his life so important? That the, that the military high command is ordering this soldier. You have, a, you have a special mission. Don't do anything else. Go and save that one person. Army officer died. Now, even though I told you that this is a story, but now let me tell you, in history, this story does have, that does have some element of truth. So let, let me tell you what happened in, in history. history You see, during the time of the Civil War, when the North and the South American were fighting, you know, the North America, it's America, called the Civil War. America, uh, USA high. That was in the Civil War That was in the 1800s, 1864. 1864. The president of America at that time was Abraham Lincoln. president Abraham Lincoln You can see this man very tall wearing the hat. That is Abraham Lincoln. And you can see him standing behind the army tent, the army tent. army tong ten during that time, President Lincoln wrote a letter which today is called the Big Speed Letter. Now, what is so special about this letter? Today, that letter that Abraham Lincoln wrote is called the Big Speed Letter. Big Speed Letter. The name of a lady. Name of a lady. Abraham Lincoln Big Speed. Big Speed. Big Speed. Big Speed. It was written to this lady. Who is this lady? Alright, her name was Lydia Parker Bixby. Lydia Parker Bixby. This poor lady, I tell you, has got five. Let me see. Has five sons. This poor lady has five sons, but in that war, she lost every one of the sons in the army because they all joined the army. Every one of the sons were killed. Every one of the sons were killed. And that's why Lincoln wrote this letter to her. And today, this letter is in the museum. What was written in the letter? What was written inside the letter? Why did President Lincoln wrote the special letter to this lady who has lost five, all five of his sons in that war? President okay, listen to what he says. Dear Madam, now look at the one that's underlined. You are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. You... And there in this letter, President Lincoln said, the whole country is so sad. We respect your, the sacrifice of your five sons and we will take care of you, Mrs. Bixby. Even though you have no more children, we will take care of you. Koma President Lincoln ri na salaw konthai. Kandi ka pomploi ri nang ta sukhong sapo sunaba me nang na ma kon pu sini nang ta. Koma na ani wo jao sin panai. Now, let me tell you now why was this uh, Captain Miller and his eight soldier? Why were they given that command to save that one person? Why were they asked to go and save Private Ryan? Why? Koma Captain Pu you see, it was the same situation about to repeat itself again. Brian 
had three other brothers. There were four boys. Three of them were already killed in this battle. Oh, and nah. when the military found out, <gasps> don't let the big speeding happen again. There should never be another woman who lose all the children. Must never allow it to happen again. Oh, nah. Let me say this again. In this story, James Ryan, all together there were four brothers. And all four were in the army. They were in different army. Bye bye. And you know. One by one, they were all killed. They died in the mili- died cut, in battle. Cut, 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 so they don't read the Chinese language. And the war office, you see, in the in the army, there is an office called the war office where they receive the let the the report who has died and they keep the record who died. Come now, war office goes to that. Report come the gang member that how how they vote to my da. And they discover in this family, three sons have already died, and Kuma. there's only one son left that's alive. That. It's James Ryan. We must not let him die. There must not be another Mrs. Bixby. There must never be another Mrs. Bixby. Bixby. Ah, tau tho. Mai tong war office ko tiri jaun na. Kung gang rap bigan ko Bixby sa min na ha ka ka na gan pa dai na ye. Ri ko to gan thom thai ka the. Tau kham mai ri su na ri. And dos mon tong deng ho bam na he. Oi, nu ni to mukhi mai pui na ha ka goi na ti thai tu do nu mukhi. So, so I told you, even though this is a fictional story, it has got a historical background. It has a historical background. History, yeah. That they must that the the tragedy of Mrs. Bixby should never happen again. The tragedy. America gan ko Bixby kai tong panti ko pat kamai tu kumna ti pat dat kuloi no mai no mother should ever lose all of children kuma pui akha chuna kana ko goi nam han dut dut nu mage now that america has discovered out of the four sons one two three a ridicule and there's still one more alive and they say no we must bring back the son we must save the son and bring him alive so that the mother will at least will still have one son still have one son kuma rai rai ko chuna to mai pui akha kana ปงุไม่ไทยหมดสุดถูกกันเด้มาทั้งกังดาบิกันก็สุดไม่ปุ้ยขาดกันน่ะปะได้นายนะกันน่ะกันท่วมทุไทยกันเด้ไทยไทย
Private Ryan out of the soldiers, the eight soldiers and the captain, captain died and six soldiers died. But they managed to bring Private Ryan home. He was found alive. He was brought back safely. But it cost six lives and the captain's life. ก็มาไม่ต้องปรีกตะสุนะไม่ต้องซีนีมาต้องปรีกตะสุนะตาวทุกันตะซัดแคปเตนเลกันตะซัดดูตะเมกันก็ไม่นี่ไรนตะกอ
And in this story, in this ending of the movie, he brought his family, his grandchildren, and they came to the graveyard of Captain Miller. And there, Private Ryan saw the grave where Captain Miller was buried. The grave where Captain Miller was buried. The grave. He is an old man. He himself is an old man now. Because this was the war ended 50 years ago. And when he saw the grave, he saluted the grave. And then he said these words. Together, you know, he said this in the presence of all his relatives. He said this. Say, Captain, 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 every day I remember what you told me on the bridge when you were dying. You know, the last word you told me. Every day I remember what you told me on the bridge. Every day. Captain, 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 you see, the, the captain died on the bridge, remember? The captain died on the bridge. And, and, and that's where he said, I never forgot what you told me on the bridge. I never forgot. And with tears in his eyes, he said, Captain, I have tried to live my life the best I could. I hope that was enough. I hope that was enough. I hope I have paid back with my life for the five lives. I mean, for the six lives that was uh, the, the six lives that was gone. I hope that was This man never forgot that for him, Six persons sacrificed their life. And for 50 years, what Captain Miller told him, make sure you better be somebody good, somebody useful. Don't waste your life because six of us die for you. Today, I want to end by asking you this question. Think about what Jesus did for you. Think about what the Lord had done for you. Think about his incredible sacrifice for you. What have we done for Jesus Christ? Have you become useful Christian? Have you become Christian that show Jesus how grateful we are for your sacrifice? Are we the kind of Christian? Jesus died for all of us. What should be our response? And there's only one answer. Be a good disciple of Jesus Christ. You must be a good disciple of Jesus Christ. Make sure you honor the name of Jesus Christ. For you, Jesus came down from heaven in order to save you, to save me. Remember, I tell you, this is how amazing God's love is. Just like the Japan Rail, for one person, the whole train station was open for Japan, one person. Japan government. And in the story of saving Brian Ryan, six person died in order to save one person. Captain Miller, like a hotong pre, Ryan tong pre, my gang cut it some some my that save to come. And as Christian, when we read the Bible, we need to ask ourselves. Great is God's love for me. Great is God's love for me. The love of God is so great. 
Sarin bitong na ding ini. Is the wonder of wonder, the most wonderful thing. Kung na ang ngagliang may detay may ragwang ramzian. May I always be grateful. Kung ma ragwang tatun ko tatun. May I walk in the path of righteousness. Kung ma sumzi mitong rasap tat mitong sing ko ay tatun. May I glorify God's name always. Kung na ay hing na ba misan ragwang him tiday pani. And not bring shame to His name. In all things, lift up the name of Jesus. We will now end by singing this song. And it's a beautiful song. Okay, let me go straight into it. Okay, and this song is called "The Wonder of It All." The wonder of it all. It's a very old song written in 1957. 1957, who made who? And the the author of this composer is George Beverly Shear. He may put in a George Beverly Shear. And this song talk about the greatest wonder of all is the wonder of God's incredible love. Oh, ang agliang may ramzian ko gusto na to kay pao ra wong ramzian na. Right, for those of you who can sing in English, let us sing this song. Oh, English Christian time, my boy. Bang boy, is the thing set up for the song, bang boy? Can you hear the music from here? All right, let's try and see whether you can hear the song. And by the way, the song goes like this: the one, there's a wonder of sunset. Sunset is so wonderful, no sunset. There's a wonder of sunrise. But the wonder of wonder that 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 makes my heart so happy is the wonder that God loves me. Abu Meng, the thing that Liang Lao may suna to Rao Wang at the Zielo Wamei. Oh, sorry. Let's hope this song works. Sound? Yeah, lah. Hopefully it work. Okay. Hey, how come it's not working? Yeah. Okay, let's try again. Oh oh. Mang Lao na kapayon niya. Okay, let's see whether it works. It sometimes take a while. He is working on it. No, it is working. Just now I tested it. Hey, it's not working. Eh? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> he is working. What happened? Let's see. Let's, see. Uh, let's see what we can do. Can you play the music, uh, uh, Mang Boy, from my thing? Play, just play the audio, the wonder of it all, and I will show the slide. Okay? Mm. The wonder of it all. Just show the, play the music from your computer. Okay, and then we'll look at the words. And okay, the wonder of it all. Just play the music. The wonder of it all. It's a beautiful song. I love this song, about God's wonderful love. Okay, I say let's hope it works. Listen to the music. All right, and it goes something like this. There's the wonder at sunrise at evening. The wondrous sunrise I see. But the wonder of wonder that thrills my soul is the wonder that God loves me. The wonder of it all, the wonder of it all, just to think that God loves me. Oh, the wonder of it all, the wonder of
Thank you. That was so beautiful. I love this song. I really love this song. It reminds me how great, how wonderful God's love is for me. I mean, who is your name? Tonight, remember to ask that question. All that the Lord has done for me, what shall I do for the Lord? Would I be a useful Christian? I hai. Or I be a Christian that will honor his name, glorify his name. As my grateful response to his love. May God bless you as you think about this question. Good night. Happy Sabbath. Thank you. Thank you.